here we are at the movies. I mean, who doesn't love the movies? And we particularly love this place, the Tull Family Theater in Swickley. It's, it's clean, there's no video games, they're not wafting the smell of popcorn through the vents, and yet I still want some. I still want some. But you know what? I think I have enough willpower to just walk right past the concession stand because one, I really don't need any extra treats right now, and two, I'm sure I'm strong enough to just abstain, right? I think I better check the guidebook. Oops. Willpower, one of dieting's deadly seven sins. Dieting's seven deadly sins, hunger, sacrifice, blind restriction, and willpower. If I close my eyes and just run past the concession stand, I can make it to the theater without getting any popcorn. Who am I kidding? No, and nor do I even want to. There are actual studies that reveal that people only have a finite amount of willpower. Yes, people actually study these things. And once that willpower is gone, we are more apt to give in. Now, for someone who is a habitual dieter, this can be emotionally debilitating. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Remember Star Trek The Next Generation? Remember the Borg's line, resistance is futile? Okay, all right, just put aside the fact that I'm a Trekkie and just absorb that statement. Resistance is futile. Dieters who are continually trying to be perfect, meaning no going off plan or cheating, though I hate that word, may experience more frustration and failure than those of us who choose the popcorn for a special evening out, because ultimately, we run out of willpower. Me, at a special occasion or a nice outing to a place like this, like the Tull Family Theater, I just go with the flow, keeping in mind that I should choose wisely and with confidence that, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow's gonna look a little different. I can't hang out here all day. <laughs> Can I? Ah, ah, do not rely on willpower. Enjoy yourself just a tad for the health of it. This is real butter. I love real butter. You got it. I did. I